Today's sales tip is pretty painful. I wish I didn't have to give this one to you because I was reminded of a super important part of the sales process by blowing a sale. Stick with me. Okay, here's the scenario. My niche is sales, consulting, coaching, training for non-sales people. Whether you're an accountant, web developer, landscaper, plumber, doesn't matter. Whatever your trade is, in order to provide that service, you have to be able to sell first, right? So a consultant comes to me and says that they have, an, they have a client who needs to better learn how to sell. The big problem they're facing is they're spending too much face time with unqualified prospects. And you know how much that hurts. That is a big waste of time. I don't like it, you don't like it. This client is sick of it. The owner of the firm wants it to stop, but they don't really have a good sales process in place. They need some coaching and some consulting to create a process and probably train some of the people on how to better sell when they do meet with a qualified prospect. I loved the sound of the project. I told the consultant that sounds ideal for me and I've done projects just like that. She was happy, I was happy. So I sent a proposal which was accepted in theory, there's not, not a signature, but accepted in theory that we should take the next step and actually talk about it. So the consultant set up a call with the owner of the firm and her and me. Here's where I made a big mistake. I got to know the consultant a little bit and I felt like I had a good relationship with her, but I didn't ask about the owner of the firm. What's their personality style? What are they like? What are their hot buttons? You know, what, what, sh what should I do in terms of making a good impression or handling the call well? What should I know in advance? Big blow it. Because what happened when we got on the live call is that I found out quickly that this person was my opposite style. And by the time I figured it out, I'd already floated a couple of ideas that were shot down and the call quickly deteriorated. And by the time we finished, I felt like I'd made the best pitch that I possibly could, but I knew that my impression was not the best. The consultant confirmed that later when we talked about the call. I didn't get the project. Maybe one day it'll still come to me, but for now, I blew it. And so I was reminded of a super important lesson. And I'm telling you this because I'm hoping that by watching the video, you're reminded. Always do pre-call preparation and planning. Learn as much as you can about the prospect. Even rehearse and script out some of the things that you're going to say and perhaps practice with someone else. Because when it's important, you want to know how you're going to behave and act. That's today's sales tip. I hope it helps you. If you have any comments or questions, post them below and I'll get right back to you. Thank you so much.